I now want to talk briefly about intensive diets in treatment of adolescents with obesity. Now, we all know that the core elements of obesity management at any age include support for healthy eating behaviours. And we basically want to support people or, uh, to normalise healthy eating and to follow national dietary guidelines. Now, this includes dietary patterns, including having regular meals, and enjoying eating in social settings with family and friends and so on, as well as healthy food choices. For many people with obesity, the focus will be on healthy choices and healthy behaviours. However, some people with obesity will benefit from more intensive dietary interventions. Now, these should usually be overseen by a dietitian who is experienced in dealing with children, particularly adolescents. And the diets that I'm thinking of include very low energy diets, very low carbohydrate diets, and intermittent energy restriction. Now, um, these interventions usually aim for weight loss and are only recommended for adolescents who've essentially reached their final height. They're rec not recommended for long periods of time due to challenges in achieving nutritional adequacy and lack of long-term safety data. However, they the intensive dietary interventions may be considered when conventional treatment is unsuccessful or when adolescents with comorbidities or severe obesity require rapid or substantial weight loss. And there are clinical situations where these occur, but they should always be done in the context of a multidisciplinary team and with support of a dietitian. Now, there's um, a 2019 systematic review of very low energy diets in adolescents and there's a mean reduction of about five kilograms at the latest follow-up, ranging from five to 14 and a half months from baseline. Intermittent energy restriction, there, have, there are only studies in adults that have been published, but the pilot study from Sydney um, and the fast track trial from Australia is being presented in abstract form in mid-2024. But we have, we do know that it still follows those general guidelines I've given. And again, the low carbohydrate diets, um, again, no real systematic reviews in adolescents. So we're learning from data in adults. General message is if it will work for some people and be supportive for some people, but it needs to be done under the uh, guidance of uh, an experienced dietitian and ideally in the context of a multidisciplinary team support.